You're not speaking to me this morning? Don't be silly. I just have nothing to say. Did you find out anything about that pattern I gave you? Yeah, I did find something. I checked the microfiche at the public library. I found an article about a murder in 1810. The newspaper published a part of a pattern found around the body. It looks damn close. You're incredible. All that work. Forget it. Have it your way. Times Picahune. Dated June 21st. 1993. Gabriel's eye is immediately drawn to an article about the voodoo murders. He scans it quickly. I don't believe this. They've closed the case. What case? The voodoo murders case. The paper says that the police have learned that the murders were the result of an underworld cartel war and that the war is over. That's not good. It's ridiculous. What about the killers? And the voodoo angle, they never got anything on that. I know you were into it, Gabriel. But if it's over, that's hardly a negative. Anyway, if you're that upset, why don't you talk it over with your pal Mosley? You don't get it, Grace. Just forget it, okay? Gabriel decides to check his horoscope, despite his disgust. Death walks close to you today. Resist temptation, lest his eye file on you, too. Peachy. It's a newspaper clipping from the year 1810. The newspaper clipping describes a ritualistic murder in Congo Square. It includes a rough sketch of a pattern found around the body. The sketch is very similar to the reconstructed Veve. The clipping is pretty old. I don't think I should handle it too much. Wolfgang writ his phone number, written in Grace's pretty scrawl. The number written on the note is 4909324333333. I can't dial myself. I'm not calling some stranger in Germany. I still don't know who this guy really is. Do you know anything about this? Sure. I'm the one that gave that to you. Remember? Have you noticed this guy outside the shop? Yeah. He gives me the creeps. I wish he'd go away. Get the hell out of here. The figure outside does not respond. 
the man in the street doesn't look interested in Gabriel's possession. He's still there. I wish he'd move or something. He hasn't moved an inch since he showed up. Gabriel watches the man watching the shop. I'm out of here. Try not to sell out the store while I'm gone. See ya! Sam, my man! Hey there, it's you! I got that bracelet for you. This piece was a real toughie. For some reason, the metal just wasn't setting. I must be out of practice. Well, it looks good to me. Thanks, Sam. No problem. By the way, I'm heading out of town tonight. Yeah, where to? Marcus used to tell me that if I ever beat him at chess, he'd take me around the world. The old bastard has enough money stuffed in his mattress to cover the federal deficit, and he hates spending a penny of it! <laughs> I'm gonna enjoy watching him squirm through every mile. Sounds like fun. Good luck. Are you kidding? Luck is my middle name. Sam's replica of Madame Kazunu's snake bracelet looks just like the original. There's no writing on the bracelet. I don't want that thing on my wrist. Sam made that bracelet for Gabriel. He'd be insulted if Gabriel gave it back. Crash, the guy from Mosley's office. At the first sight of Gabriel, he slouches away like a beaten dog. Hmm, I wonder what he's up to. Hey, Crash! Wait up! Crash only looks scared and keeps walking. It appears that Madame Lorelei has returned. Gabriel should get her attention first. You're back! You know, you really freaked me out running off like that. Yoo-hoo! Anybody home? Stay away from Maria Getty, or you shall pay with your life! <gasps> what the hell is going on?
Gabriel is standing on the balcony of a building across the street from Jackson Square. On the balcony are four mounted binoculars. A fancy wrought iron railing marks the end of the balcony. Nice plant. Jackson Square proper lies below. It's been overcast all week. The air has been moody and thick. Strange weather for June. San Luis Cathedral. The original church on this site was built in 1724 and was named for Louis IX of France. That church burnt in the Great Fire of 1788. The present church dates from 1851. The Presbyterian. This building was begun by the Spaniards in 1795 after a fire in Jackson Square. It was intended for monks, but now it houses historical exhibits. The Pont Alba buildings are historical landmarks built in 1849 and 1850 as residential apartments. Four pairs of binoculars are rigorously mounted on the cement floor. These binoculars aren't going anywhere without a jackhammer. That's Crash. What the hell is he up to with that drummer? is huddled in a pew. He looks seriously ill. Crash is still capable of moving under his own volition. Psst. Hey, what are you doing here? I I'm praying. Leave me alone. Why are you praying? I'm praying for my life, man. You look pretty sick. Shouldn't you be in a hospital? Hospital wouldn't do nothing. Leave me alone. I need to talk to you. Ask you some questions. No way, man. I'm too sick. Let's go away. Come on. I have to know what you know about these voodoo people. You, you don't know nothing about nothing, man. You're so far out of it, you wouldn't understand anything. Just like that friend of yours, Mosley. Go away. I'm not like Mosley. I know more than you think I do. I'll believe you. Forget it, man. It's not worth my breath. Come on, talk to me. I'm too sick to waste my time. Oh, oh, go away. Do you recognize this? No! Don't waste my time! Do you recognize this? Where'd you get that? Why? Do you know something about it? Know something about it? Look at this! Grash opens his shirt and reveals a tattoo. It's the same. The same snake. It's their sign. The mark of the snake. Without it, they'll never let you get close. The sign of the snake. Right. Your tattoo, my bracelet. Now, do you believe that I know something about these people? Yeah. You know about them, I... <coughs> I guess. Tell me more about this snake sign. I need this tattooed to get into their rituals. That's all I know. 
Will you answer some questions for me now? <laughs> okay. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to you a little. I'll make it fast. Tell me what you know about voodoo. Look, let's take some advice. Stay away from this voodoo shit. You don't really want to know, man. Believe me. Just do yourself a favor and leave me alone. Come on, tell me what you know about voodoo. I told you, man. Leave me alone. Can't you see I'm dying? I want to know about the voodoo murders. You're on the right track. That's all I can say. I'm not going to risk my life by talking about it, man. What can you tell me about New Orleans? Man, can't you see I'm sick? Don't bug me with stupid questions. Do you know anything about snakes? The eyes. Snake's eyes. Dambala. Okay, calm down. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? Nothing. Just leave me alone. Do you have any idea what Cabri Saint Girl means? I never heard of that. Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? I don't know her. Honest. Tell me what you know about a secret voodoo hanfour in New Orleans. Oh man. Sh sh shut up about that shit. Can't you see I'm sick? Aren't you trying to kill me? Tell me what you know about a secret voodoo hanfour in New Orleans. I told you. I'm not gonna talk about that. Go away. Do you know anything about animal masks? No. Leave me alone about that shit. What do you mean? You've seen them, haven't you? Not me. Leave me alone. Tell me about the animal masks you've seen. I said drop it. Do you know anything about Veves? I never heard of that. Do you know anything about black voodoo? Black voodoo? What the hell is that? Voodoo's voodoo, man! Tell me about yourself. I'm sick. Diet. Eating a big enchilada. What the fuck else matters? I saw you talking to that drummer. What did you tell him? You saw me with the drummer? Nobody's supposed to see. Shit! I blew it again. I promise you won't say nothing to no one. It'll get back to him, everything does. I promise me you won't tell anyone you saw me. Okay, but you have to tell me everything I want to know. Okay. Okay. I was sending a message, man. These, these, these rotter drummers posted around the quarter. <laughs> they see everything. And they report. Report? How? The drums, man. It's, it's some kind of code. Tell me about the rotter drums. I already told you about that. Now tell me what you know about voodoo. All I know is these people are into some weird shit. They have power. Real power. They can write your name on a piece of paper and chew it. And you end up eating some meat. Like you've been through a, a, a grinder. <coughs> they know things in their heads. Things that no one ever knew about you. They know when you lie. They can smell it. They're fucking scary, man. I don't know if it's the devil or what. But it ain't no fake shit, man. It's 
real. Crash, tell me more about this voodoo cartel. I, I told you all I know. I don't want to talk about it no more. Now tell me about the voodoo murders. They did the murders. And that's not the only way they kill. They can get you from miles away. Just by saying your name. Come on, you don't really believe that, do you? I seen it, man. You can't cross them. Tell me more about the voodoo murders. Th th there's nothing more to tell. They kill people. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? <laughs> they always met outside somewhere at night. I saw them last year dancing and howling. You don't want to be anywhere near them. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? I told you everything I know about that. Now tell me about the animal masks. They were them dancing at the ritual. They don't just wear them. They become them. They become the animals. Stop talking nonsense. It happens. That's all I know. Tell me what you know about a secret voodoo hanfu in New Orleans. All right. There's this, uh, this is an uh, underground cartel in, in New Orleans. A voodoo cartel. They control everything that happens on the street. I mean everything, bought or sold. They have their fingers in the legit world too. Banks foreign stuff, you name it. There's supposed to be this temple. What you said, the Hound Four. That's their headquarters. I heard people say it's, it's uh, underground. Uh, somewhere in the French Quarter. I don't know where. Have you ever been there? Uh, no, no, I, I, I've never been in it. I, I'm a nobody. A runner, but I, I, I saw them once, out at the lake. They became animals, man. Beasts. I remember the eyes. <clears throat> the eyes. Hey, are you okay? The eyes. The eyes of the snake. I think I should go get a doctor. Hey, are you all right? Someone, I need help. The eyes of the snake. Dambala. Oh. What snake? Crash. Crash spasms twice more, then dies as Gabriel wanted. Oh, God. Poor bastard. Crash is dead. He's not going to be very communicative. Crash's body is slumped in the pew. What a place for a violent death. Crash's face shows signs of strangulation. His death was not a pleasant one. Crash's shirt is closed. On Crash's chest is a tattoo of a snake. Gabriel cannot take the tattoo with him that way. I guess I better copy this tattoo. Thank you.
muscly, my man. Yeah, yeah, what is it, you wanker? Knight, I hate to tell you this, but you're out of a book. The voodoo murders case has been closed. I had a feeling you were gonna say that, son of a bitch. Can I ask you about some stuff? You're the writer, ask away. Crash is dead. What? What are you talking about? I just let him go this morning. Yeah, well, that turned out to be a brilliant move. Though they probably would have gotten him anywhere. They? You're losing it, Knight. It was the voodoo cult. They did it. Crash said. You're an amateur, so let me just give you some advice. Crash is... was a junkie. You gotta read through the hallucinations, you know what I mean? Where's the body, anyway? St. Louis Cathedral. Lovely. Well, we'll make sure he's picked up sometime today so he doesn't scare the shit out of some nun. But chill, Gabe. In this business, you see a lot of stiffs. Aren't you going to investigate? Civilians. Did you actually see someone kill him? No. Actually, I was with him when he died. Could have been poison, though. Yeah, well, when they get the body in, they'll do a quick autopsy. Standard procedure. If it's anything other than an overdose, I'll get a report. But it won't happen. I know these guys. Lock them up overnight, and they tend to overdo it the next day. Your professionalism is astonishing. What do you know about the voodoo murders? The case is closed. There's nothing more to discuss. Do you know anything about a secret voodoo hound fool? Oh, come on. Someone's pulling your leg, Knight. Are you sure? There's nothing secret about voodoo in New Orleans. There's a museum, for Christ's sake. Yeah, but that's the stuff they want you to see. You're getting mighty paranoid, Knight. Do you know anything about a secret voodoo hound fool? I told you, you're nuts. Drop it. Do you know anything about veves? What? Veves. They're ritualistic patterns used in voodoo. You know, like those marks we found around the body. You know what the department says about that, Knight. That voodoo stuff is faked. Yeah, well, they're wrong. These veves... Look, just stop worrying about them, Marks. I don't think they're relevant. Do you know anything about veves? I told you, I don't think that's relevant. Do you know anything about black voodoo? Black voodoo? Sounds like a put on to me. Do you know anything about Rada drums? No. They're these African drums, and they're being used all over the French Quarter to send messages for the voodoo cartel. Yeah, right. When them drums announce a blue light special at OK Mart, let me know. Do you know anything about Rada drums? Stop with the drum stuff, would you? What's the status on the voodoo murders case? The case? What case? I told you, the voodoo murders case is closed. How can you just close it? It's not solved, is it? Oh, it's solved. Turns out the Chicago Mafia was trying to invade local territory. Using Mississippi for drug running now that Florida's so hot. What we had here was a little resistance from local... Businessmen? Word came in this morning that the Chicago group is giving up and pulling out of New Orleans. But that doesn't bring the killers to justice. Well, the boys upstairs seem to figure it this way. Let the slime kill each other. Better the vermin we know than the Chicago vermin, I guess. The attitude in the department is that we've just been done a huge favor. Well, they're probably right. What about the local cartel? Are you just gonna let them go? At least they're part of us. We'll deal with them over time, always have. New Orleans is pretty clean that way, you know. Well, that's the illusion, isn't it? Look, I'm not totally in agreement here either, but what can I do? These guys are not about to get caught. I'm disappointed about the book, too. Look, next big murder case I get, I'll call you in and we'll do that one upright, okay? In fact, I could probably dig up some old cases and you could spice them up. No, thanks. What's the status on the voodoo murders case? I told you, it's closed. 
How can I convince you to reopen the case? Look, the department's not interested. So? Couldn't you make them interested? With what? I've got seven bodies and still no leads. The voodoo angle's worthless. And besides, these people aren't hurting anybody but out-of-town drug dealers and hitmen. The voodoo stuff is not worthless. It's the key to the whole thing. And these people are dangerous. They need to be stopped. Okay. You want me to reopen this case? Prove what you just said. What do you mean? You need to... Prove there's a legitimate voodoo cult in New Orleans. Prove that they're a threat. Get me a lead on the cult. I have this snake bracelet. It's a replica of one used in secret voodoo ceremonies a few decades ago. Really? What makes you think so? I got it from an old Creole lady whose grandmother was an acolyte of Marie Laveau. Gabriel, Gabriel. We get these little old ladies in here all the time. That bracelet is probably not genuine and it wouldn't prove anything if it were. Mosley doesn't appear to be impressed by the replica of the snake bracelet. I took this tracing from a tattoo on Crash's chest. It's related to the underworld voodoo cult. Yeah? What makes you think that? It's what Crash said just before he died. Well, he was probably hallucinating from the drugs he OD'd on. Probably got that in the Navy or something. No, I'm sure it's related. It's a snake seed. And even if it were a signal of some sort, that doesn't prove that the murders were done by a legit voodoo cult. I'm telling you, this snake tattoo is a secret membership symbol for the voodoo cult. Well, it sounds like good copy, anyway. I picked up this scale at Lake Pontchartrain. Yeah? Well, what makes you think it's related to the murders? Well, it was at the crime scene. Sure. Must be from the only snake in Louisiana, all right. That voodoo snake. Christ. Mosley's seen as much in that scale as he's going to. You know those marks you found around the murder victims? This is a reconstruction of the whole pattern. What makes you think this is an accurate reconstruction? Well, I borrowed the partial patterns from your police file and did my own tracing of the pattern at Lake Pontchartrain. An architectural artist reconstructed it for me from the partials. Really? So this is the whole pattern, huh? Well, that's pretty good work, Knight. But that doesn't prove that this pattern is really connected to voodoo. Showing that to Mosley again wouldn't do much good. Well, I'll be seeing you later, Knight. My favorite grandson. How nice. Your only grandson, but nice try, Gran. Make yourself at home, son. Can we talk, Gran? Of course, my boy. How can I help? Do you know anything about a secret voodoo hound fool? Gabriel, my goodness! What are you up to these days? Nothing, Gran, really. You better not be. You know you're the only family I have left. 
I know, Graham. It's okay. And do you know anything about a secret voodoo hound fool? I don't believe in such things, Gabriel. But if there is one, you stay away from it. Yes, Graham. Do you know anything about snakes? Snakes? What kind of snakes, dear? I don't know. Local kinds? Well, we used to get cotton mouths in the park when I was a girl, but I haven't heard of one being sighted for years. Milk snakes and garter snakes are also around these parts, but they can't hurt you. Thanks, Grant. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? St. John's Eve? Hmm. I remember when I was a girl, we always had a St. John's Eve Mass. The Mass was set at midnight, and we held candles. One time on the way home, we were waylaid by a large group of drunken revelers. They didn't hurt us, but I was frightened. My father was furious. We never went to St. John's Eve Mass after that. What can you tell me about St. John's Eve? I haven't celebrated it in years, Gabriel. Well, I'm sure there's still Mass in the more traditional churches, but I don't go. Do you have any idea what Cabri Saint Carl means? Hmm. Something without something, I think. My French is so rusty. I swear my mind is going. It's okay, thanks. Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? Marie Laveau? Of course! She was that voodoo woman, wasn't she? She preyed on people's fears and superstitions is what I think. There are always those willing to take other people's money for nothing. You stay away from people like that, Gabriel. Yes, Gran. Do you know anything about animal masks? Why, no, dear. Do you mean... Mardi Gras masks. Never mind, Gran. Do you know anything about Veves? What, dear? Never mind. Do you know anything about black voodoo? Black voodoo? Is that something new? I don't think so. I don't know much about any kind of voodoo, Gabriel. Do you know anything about black voodoo? No, dear. Do you know anything about Radha drums? Radha drums? Hmm. Your father had a little drum set when he was small. I don't think that's quite the same thing, Gran. Well, your family's always been in the arts, but no musicians so far. Do you know anyone named Wolfgang Ritter? Wolfgang Ritter? Oh, uh, no, dear. Hmm, odd. Gabriel doesn't want to upset his grandmother with that photograph. Does this mean anything to you, Gran? 1810? Hmm, goodness, Gabriel, I'm not that old. I'm going up the attic again. Enjoy yourself, dear. An elaborate mechanical clock, probably of German origin, is among the discarded treasures of the attic. It doesn't seem to be running at the moment. A key winds the clock's mechanism. There's an interesting design in the base of the clock. The face of the clock is hand-painted. A ring of six symbols surround the face of the clock. A sword, a sun, an angel, a noose, an eclipse, and a dragon. It's the minute hand. Nothing happens. 
The ring of symbols does not appear to have any mechanical function, but it does move. The hands do not appear to have any mechanical function other than to move. Granddaddy, you old fox. A secret drawer has opened in the base of the clock. The photo, probably at least 50 years old, shows two young men standing with an older man outside the castle. I wonder who they are. It's an old letter on fancy paper. The old photographs show Gabriel's grandfather with two other men that Gabriel has not identified. The back of the photo has the following written on it. Schloss Ritter, 1925. The letter is addressed to Heinz Ritter, whoever that is. The letter is written in German, but Gabriel determines what he can about it. It was sent from a place called Schloss Ritter in Rittersburg, West Germany. The letter is addressed to mein Sohn Heinz and signed Wilhelm Ritter. One of the reoccurring words strewn throughout the letter is the word Schattenjäger. The only thing that Gabriel can decipher about the letter is a sense of urgency in the handwriting and in the heavy use of quill tip bold strokes and underlining. Sid, take a load off, hon. Does this mean anything to you, Grain? Uh, no, dear. I'm afraid I don't speak a word of German. Does this mean anything to you, Grain? That one in the middle is your grandfather. Those other two I don't know. Can we talk, Gran? Of course, my boy. How can I help? Have you ever heard of a Schottenjäger? 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 How are Gabriel? I haven't heard that word in years. My goodness, you've given me a chill. Your granddad used to say that sometimes in his sleep. Really? Do you know what it means? No, I'm afraid not. I asked him about it once. I don't think he answered me. Odd. Hmm. Thanks, Gran. Have you ever heard of a Schottenjäger? I don't know what else to tell you, dear. Do you know anyone named Heinz Ritter? Heinz Ritter? Oh, Gabriel. Where did you hear that name? I found a letter in Granddaddy's clock. I promised I'd never tell you or your father, but I suppose it doesn't matter now. Tell me, Gran. Your granddad's name was Heinz Ritter before he came to America. He changed it to Harrison Knight legally when he arrived. Why did granddad change his name? I don't know. I tried to ask him about his family, his life before America, but he didn't want to talk about it never even told me about his name change. I found out one day when I saw his passport in a drawer. Since he obviously found it painful, 
I never questioned him about it. But I'm sure it wasn't trouble with the law. Your granddad was the best man I ever knew. Didn't granddad ever say anything about his past or his family? Only that his family was crazy and that he never wanted to see them again. He believed in some family curse, thought that he could spare Philip and Philip's children from what he called old nightmares. Whatever Harrison wanted to spare you, though, it cost him plenty. He never did sleep well, and he would often get a faraway guilty look in his eyes. He was wrestling with something he thought he should be doing, some place he thought he ought to be. I don't know how he could think that he should be anywhere but with me and our child. It's a terrible way to live. Do you know anything else about Heinz Ritter? I've told you all I know about your granddad's past. Do you know anyone named Wolfgang Ritter? As I said, your granddad's surname was originally Ritter. I never learned much about his family, but from things he said, I always thought he had a brother back in Germany. I don't know if Wolfgang Ritter is related to your granddad or not. Well, Gran, I better get going. All right, dear. Tonight, you're back. Oh, goody. And if I pick your brain? Not if it will get you out of my office. Do you know anything about Radha drums? Yes, Radha drums are used in most voodoo ceremonies. Have you ever heard of a Schutten Jaeger? I'm afraid I can't help you there, Mr. Knight. And do you know anything about a secret voodoo hound fool? Secret voodoo hound fool? Where, Mr. Knight? In New Orleans. Well, I don't know anything about a secret hound fool in New Orleans. But if you find something along those lines, let me know. And do you know anything about a secret voodoo hound fool? I told you, I'm as... Clueless as you on that one. Can you tell me anything about this? No, I've never seen those symbols. Therefore, they're probably meaningless. Really? Are you sure? I am never wrong, Mr. Knight. Therefore, sure is not in my vocabulary. Can you tell me anything about this pattern? Wow. Interesting. Very interesting. Mind if I copy this? Be my guest. Great. I'll be right back. Here you go. You know, this is a fascinating baby. You must tell me all about its origin. Actually, I was hoping you'd tell me. Can you figure out anything about it from the symbols? Well, some. That's why I wanted to copy. I want to research the design myself. Each of the symbols in the Vebe represent something. A loa, a place. Where did you get this? Have you heard of the voodoo murders? No, you're kidding. Really? Then the voodoo is authentic. The newspapers are wrong. Boy. Are they wrong? You think this Veve is authentic, then? Authentic? Mr. Knight, that's like asking if the Mona Lisa is a painting. Tell you what, I'll uh, look into these symbols myself and see what I can learn about the sect that made this. I'll give you a call when I have more information. Uh, you are associated with the police, aren't you? Absolutely. But I'm, uh, undercover. You can contact me at the St. George's Bookshop in the quarter. All right. 
And now, I'd like to get started on this, if you don't mind. Partridge made a copy of the VV. He doesn't need to see Gabriel's version again. Up for a few more questions? Gee, I'd love to. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Hmm, just what I read in the papers until you showed me that baby. I wasn't interested before, but now... Yes, I'd like to figure out where these people come from, and what they're up to. They are obviously some very frightening and deadly serious voodoo. What do you know about the voodoo murders? I'm hoping you'll tell me more about it. Tell me what you mean by black voodoo. Well, like any religion, the beliefs can tend toward positive or negative ends. Can be used for good or evil. Christianity, for example, has its doppelganger, Satanism. Any time you attempt to set up an icon to explain evil, you invite some warped mind to worship it. The same is true of voodoo. There are those who are drawn by and desire personal power from the darker, bloodier lower. Can you give me an example of black voodoo? All right. There is a very secret, very dark cult in Haiti called the Cult de Mort, Cult of the Dead. Their primary law is Papa Nabo, Loa of the Cemetery. They practice a particularly disgusting form of necromancy, magic using the dead. They dig up corpses and use their decaying bodies for various spells and curses. Can you give me another example of black voodoo? In tribal Africa there were, and still are, black bokors. Shamans bent towards the dark, who not only practice necromancy, but also human sacrifice. Is there anything else you can tell me about black voodoo? Only that if it's being practiced in this city, none of us are safe. Have you had any luck with that beve? I'm still working on it, Mr. Knight. When I'm finished, you'll be the first to know. I'll be going. Oh, do keep in touch. I had a feeling you'd be back. Really? Boy, you are amazing. Please, be seated. Could I ask you a few questions? Of course, Seeker. Do you know anything about a secret voodoo Han Fu? There are many voodoo churches in New Orleans, no? Yes, but have you heard of a secret voodoo Han Fu? <laughs> Wherever did you hear such a ridiculous story? There is no such thing. Do you know anything about a secret voodoo hound fu? I told you, I don't think that's worth discussing. Do you know anything about bebes? I don't know anything about that. Do you know anything about black voodoo? It is the oldest, darkest heart of voodoo. Do you know anything about black voodoo? There are some things it is better not to know about, Monsieur Knight. Do you know anything about Rada drums? I don't know anything about that. Does this mean anything to you? It's beautiful. I love it. Have you ever seen anything like this before? No, but if you know where I can buy one... Sorry, it'll be rather hard to find one these days. Oh, well, so be it. Do 
Does this mean anything to you? Um, yes, but we don't use those anymore. Do these symbols mean anything to you? Oh, the voodoo code. It is very secret, yes. I studied it with my mentor, the great Queen Tabitha. Really? Great. Can you tell me what it says? Hmm. Let's see. Well, some of it is nonsense, I'm afraid. Whoever wrote this wasn't very good. That's all right. Just tell me what it says. It starts with a D and a J, and then... Okay, this part makes sense. It says, Conclave tonight, bring... Mm, then there's more nonsense. F-W-E-T-K-A-S-H. Well, that last bit might mean cash. Fresh cash? It doesn't make much sense. That's okay, thanks. DJ Conclave, K-A-S-H. It's a start. I'm happy I could help. Can you tell me anything more about this code? I gave you my translation. If it doesn't make sense, it's not my fault. Well, I guess I'll be gone now. May the protection of the Snake God go with you. Uh, thanks. Hello, beautiful. It's me. Really? I forgot you were gone. I'm looking for Wolfgang Ritter. Ja, einen Moment. Ja, is this Gabriel on the phone? This is Gabriel Knight. Why are you calling me, Mr. Ritter? I have been having premonitions of great danger for you, Gabriel. You must leave New Orleans this very day. What the hell are you talking about? It is hard to explain on the phone. I have had senses, uh, feelings about you. It took me a long time to have you tracked down. I had a sense that Heinz had a grandson, but until these dreams started, I did not know if I should contact you. You say you're related to my grandfather? Yes. Heinz was my brother. There is much about the family that you should know, Gabriel. Come to Schloss Ritter in Rittersberg, West Germany. It is our family home. I will tell you everything when you come. You must come immediately. You are in great danger there. Look, I appreciate the family spirit and all, but frankly I don't know you from Adam, and I'm not going to fly off to Germany, even if I could afford it. Gabriel, please, if you won't listen, at least let me send you something. It is a journal from one of your ancestors. Promise me you will read it. Well, I'm pretty busy. Please, Gabriel, you are the last of our line. I am too old to carry on. You are our last hope. Please, for your family, read the journal. All right, I'll look at it. Good. Now be careful and come to me as soon as you can. Goodbye. Got a minute, Grace? What's up? Have you ever heard of a shot and Jaeger? No. Is that a voodoo word? I don't think so. It's German. Hmm. No, but it has a nice ring, doesn't it? Schottenjäger. You can't tell me anything about the word Schottenjäger? Nope. Sorry, I don't speak German. Do you know anything about Rada drums? Rada drums? No, afraid not. You're sure you don't know anything about a secret voodoo temple? No. No, I don't. But if it exists, 
I wish you'd stay away from it. Could you do some research for me? Sure, what? Could you research Radha drums for me? Radha drums? Sure. I don't think we have any books on that topic in the shop, but I'll contact our suppliers. Assuming any of them will extend you any credit. Tell them it's an emergency. Uh-huh. I can see where a Radha drum book would be incredibly urgent. Anything else? I can't think of anything. Okay. Do you know anything about Radha drums? Not personally, but I'll try to get something on it for you, like you asked. It's time to close shop. So it is. Have a nice night. You too. See you tomorrow. Hello? It's me. I can't sleep. Oh, me neither.